So I had a friend mention to me about the short term program that was offered in London and I had a few friends that were going to be travelling at the same time in Europe so I thought what better way to go over to Europe, study and travel both at the same time. I think it's really important to realise that we no longer are just confined to one area, one city. Um, we now live and work in a global environment and gaining um, exposure to different cultures and different experiences overseas really helps add to um, those skills that you need later on in life. It was the best thing that I've done throughout my university career. It gave me the most perspective on what I want to do longer term and I think it actually enhanced my studies now that I'm back because I'm really keen to get going on a career and I learned so much about that career from being on exchange. Um, I think it's just a learning curve, being able to adapt to a new university life, um, being able to act like a local, think like a local, um, that's just challenging yourself and it's quite rewarding. Well I think studying at a top tier university such as the London School of Economics, uh, not many people get the opportunity to do that. Well first of all you're in Asia so I mean totally different context for learning, totally different context for living. Um, I was living you know in a, in a dorm with um, 400 um, Hong Kong students which is different to anything I'd done before. Um, I was on the doorstep of China so I could go over to China anytime I wanted which was great because I was learning Chinese and uh, in general, it was just a totally different experience, something that I'd never done before and I'd do it again in a heartbeat. The UQ Abroad Travel Grants and Scholarships and the Government OS Help Loans make going overseas really achievable. I'm from the Gold Coast and I, when I live and study in Brisbane, I pay rent and it was actually cheaper for me to go on exchange and pay rent in Hong Kong than it was in Brisbane. And that's because the Hong Kong government subsidises university accommodation, so for the whole semester it only costs about $1,000 and all food on campus is heavily subsidised as well. So a meal would only cost me $1.50 or $2.00. So in combination with the government grant that I received and the availability of OS help loans, it's really financially viable and I was actually surprised at how inexpensive the exchange was. At the same time I was more excited than I was worried about it because I knew it's going to be an amazing experience because you get to know people from across the world from different backgrounds that you may not have the opportunity to cross path with um, otherwise and I got to learn a new language which is very exciting for me. Absolutely, like I'd encourage anyone to go and travel overseas um, Especially in London where I was, uh, I found it a really good experience to be there for three weeks and living in central London. Uh, it sort of opened my, opened my eyes to a whole world of new opportunities. I think it really solidified what I wanted to do because you get a really interesting perspective when you go on exchange by virtue of the fact that you're in a totally different environment and that you just started a whole new way of thinking. I started thinking that I really want a career in the Asia Pacific region because it is growing like nowhere else is, it's exciting and uh, it's just got a, a whole lot of opportunities for, for a lot of young people. So um, it, was, it became very clear while I was on exchange that I want to spend my career in Asia. It's great that I got to go overseas, do the three week program and it counted for two units of my core subject here at UQ that would have taken me a whole semester to do and also travelled a week either side of the program while I was in London. What I didn't expect from exchange was to not just do an Asian exchange but to actually do a multicultural exchange of seemingly every country in the world. Um, when I was in Shanghai I was with another Australian and we were in Shanghai in the French concession at a German bar talking to some Mexicans and they recommended an Italian restaurant and that kind of just sums up how multicultural the exchange was. Now that I'm in the graduate process I've been speaking to a lot of graduate employers and all of whom have said that international experience whether it be studying or work is incredibly valuable to graduate employment so I'm really pleased that I do have that under my belt that I can now say yes I've lived in Hong Kong, I've studied in Hong Kong and travelled throughout Asia and I think that's viewed very highly in organisations in Australia.